Hey guys, what's going on? Bud from Bud Plays Games here, bringing you some more City Skylines gameplay, guys. Hope you are doing well. I'm doing good myself. First and foremost, guys, let me go ahead and thank you for coming out to today's video, guys. I do appreciate it if you guys do enjoy the video. Any point makes it laugh, giggle, smile, or cry, hit that like button down below. So I know you guys did enjoy, and I'll be sure to get this guy or get this out to you guys more frequently. Uh, last time we left off, we were just getting some things set up. As you can see, we have a little bit of a power issue going on here, so I want to get another one of these guys going. Yeah, we're a little ways off from these. Uh, do we actually have... No, we don't. I was checking to see if we have wind power inside the water canals here to place uh, these these advanced turbines, but it doesn't appear that we do, which is a little bit unfortunate. It's not that big of a deal. But, alright, let's just go ahead and let this play out for a little bit. Looks like we are going to need some more commercial here in just a little bit, so that's not too difficult to get up and running. Let's go and get some of these guys. Uh, we'll follow our one-way road. Actually, what's in the way here? Firehouse? Let me just, uh, scooch you over there, please. Thank you. Alright, so let's scoot this guy down like so. We'll connect it like that. Power should still be good, right? Yeah? Yeah, oh, just barely. Whew. A little bit close there, but we're good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just conteep- or er, conteep? What? Words are hard. Continue, uh, running some roads out along this area here. And that should give us just a little bit more real estate for uh, our commercial zoning here. Eh, because we're going to need it. <laughs> Definitely going to need it. Let's go, let's go ahead and fill some of these guys up like this. There we go. That should do for now, I think. Uh, we'll get a little bit of water ran out here as well. There we go. That should be fine. That should do very, very nicely. So this power is definitely becoming a bit of an issue. I could... Oh, I could put one of these guys way out here. But then I run the risk of noise pollution, and, you know. Is it really worth it? I mean, I... Oh. Screw it. Alright, we're gonna do it. We're, we need it. We need it bad, so I'm just gonna do it. Really didn't want to do that, per se, but we kind of had to, so, I mean, eh, It's not that big of a deal, I don't think. Let me just go ahead and surround this in some trees here. Try to dampen the sound a bit. That should help out. Right, let's check the noise pollution. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit hectic. Um, can't get my trees with roads on them quite yet. Which is a bit unfortunate. I guess what I could do is I could throw a park down over here. That might help get the land value up just a bit more. These are really expensive, right? Yeah, those are super expensive. Never mind, we're not going to get one of those. We'll get a little carousel to throw down out there. Just try to raise this land value back up out here, because this wind turbine's going to drain land value quite significantly. Uh, so that should hold us off just for a little bit until we can grab another one of these power plants. Once we can do that, we should be good to go. Alright, hit pause. Immediately hit pause whenever you're saving up for something, just in case your budget drops or you lose some money or something like that. You don't want to... Uh, to be out of out of money when you're trying to buy something. So I've got a lot of farmland out here. And I really think it would benefit us if I kind of tapped into that a bit. So let's just go like this. Uh, let's check the area again. So pretty much all of this is farm area. Okay, very, very nice. That's actually really nice. I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. Let's just go ahead and drag this guy out like this, like this. Do the same right here. Ooh. Right on the edge of city limits here. That's alright. Not enough money? Yeah, it's fine. We should have some soon. Okay, we're gonna need some water lines ran out here as well. Cost 840, should just take us a few seconds to get to that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Go and fill this guy up with some more industrial zoning. Um, let me go ahead and check my area again. So pretty much right on the edge of this is where it's at. So let's go ahead and make a quick zone here. Go like this. Kind of go like so. We can honestly probably go like this as well. Alright, let's check this. Um, I could probably extend it out this way a bit more. Like that. Go like this as well. want to make sure that I get all of this stuff because I do not want to lose out on any of this very valuable farmland. Very, very nice to have. And let's go ahead and turn this straight into farming. That should do quite nicely. Uh, we might take a little bit of a hit in the budget as we are um, deleting some of these industrial buildings, but it shouldn't be that much of a current a concern. A concern. Wow, English is hard. 
Yeah, I can something I'm too worried about. I did place these little barriers right there. I just think they look kind of nice. There's not a huge point in them. I guess it'll kind of help against floods, but eh, you know, you know. So our electricity production is doing well. No issues there. Don't need these guys. Which that is going to allow us to tap into more of this farmland here. So we'll go ahead and rezone this as some more industrial area. Um, it is in the zone, correct? Yes, it is. Very nice. All right. Very good. Very good. I'm just waiting on... I did put the park in uh, recreations to try to um, try to kind of help uh, happiness in the area. And boom, there we go. Turn on recreational use. Very nice. And that should be pretty pretty good. I think that should help out quite nicely. Uh, what kind of transport do I have rolling right now? Not a whole lot. I have buses, but I really prefer not to use buses just for the sole reason that they do cause quite a fair amount of traffic. And holy mother of... Wow, we got a lot of money. Wow, that's... Okay. Now, if I were to expand out... I'm thinking about making... Going out like this. And this will be my residential areas. And then I'll just connect this highway right here. That could work out pretty well, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and delete these guys. Because they are going to get in the way just a little bit here for us. Uh, I'm just going to do it like right here. We're just going to go all the way out. Actually, it's quite expensive. Okay, we're going to go all the way over. Go out to right there. Then we're going to go all the way up. Make sure that we still have this snapping at a 90 degree angle. Okay, very nice. There we go. A nice straight road. Then we can just connect it like so. Very nice, very nice. That should help us out quite a bit with some new, uh, some new areas to zone and things of that nature. How far out can I actually get you to go? Hmm. Let's just go one for there. Then we'll go like this, like this, like this, and probably call that good. We could go like this. Let's just do that. Make it look just a little bit smoother for us, because I am all about aesthetics in this game. As you guys are uh, probably painfully aware, <laughs> I, I like to make things look good, even if it if it costs me in the end, which is probably not a good thing. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna need to get rid of some of these guys. I mainly just place that down to get the perfect lines, so it's a uh, perfect 90 degree angles and such. So I'm thinking about getting a clover leaf intersection. That could could be pretty pretty decent. I hope. Hmm. Allow traffic flow with as few stops as possible. I'm thinking one of these clover leaf ones are going to uh, suit us rather well here. I'm hoping, anyways. Wow, that's actually pretty darn expensive, isn't it? Can I even. <laughs> I wonder if I could even somehow get this to snap. I could. I could actually use that. Okay, that's a little bit large for us, so we're not gonna worry about that too too much uh we do have some of these cool guys i mean that's a possibility maybe maybe i'll, I'll let's scroll through and see what we got to work with here first of all no way i can get this to work yeah i didn't think so that would have been kind of cool but you know eh, it's all right it's all right it's gonna kind of scroll through these and see what we can actually get well that's interesting Whoa, holy crap, that's intricate. Wow, that's very intricate. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. Uh, I'm looking, I think it's called like Black Widow or something like that. That one usually does this pretty well. Where is it? Where's my... Oh, oh, we need 5,500? No! Oh, that sucks, that sucks. That Black Widow one is awesome. I love that one, it's so good. So the Cloverleaf guy, we could use this. It's a little bit large though, I'm not gonna lie. What about this guy? Something something simple, you know? Whoa, that's actually quite large. Holy crap. Wasn't quite expecting that. Okay, we'll hold off on this. Well this will be our little our little pet project we're gonna we're gonna try to work on eventually. Um okay, so we can zone this area out here as some more residential. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my marquee tool. And, uh, skirp! No, we don't want you skirped. You don't need to be skirped, sir. You can stay right there. Thank you. So we have a nice little residential zone right there, which is cool. Which is cool. I'm all about that residential life. 
my man. Or female. Uh, let's go like this. We could... Hmm. We could go like this. Huh. Because bridges, no matter what you do, will always cause traffic in this game. That's something that I've kind of discovered through playing this game a lot, is that bridges will always, always cause traffic. You can try to prepare for it as much as you want. You're just gonna have a, you're gonna have traffic here. It's just gonna happen. It's just how the game works, I guess. I don't know. So maybe if I could go like this, I'd rather. Hmm. Let's see if I can build a little road out. Let's go like one. Oh, right there. Let's try that. See if I can get that to work. Very nice. It snapped good, which is what I was wanting. Uh, we can go ahead and connect this like that. Then we can take this guy and hold off on that, I suppose. So now I have a nice roundabout here. Which I'm hoping will kind of help alleviate traffic. Because these bridges are always going to be chaotic. They just are. I don't know why. It, it just is always how this game has been. Uh, I guess what I could do here... Whoa. Easy now, don't cause a tidal wave on me. That would not be very good, that would not be, uh, preferable. Uh, we could get a high school as well, get that education up further here, which is gonna help us out a little bit. New service available. Connect ferry stops with piers, secure ferry lines. Huh. Depots on open water. I've never actually used one of these guys. Like, could I just place this guy right here? I think I could. We could get a ferry up and going. That might be interesting, huh? That could be pretty cool. But I think you just kind of go like this, right? I really don't know how these work. I've never used them. I mean, I, it could be something interesting to look into. Okay, we got deaths. Yep, okay, we need to get a cemetery up and rolling here very soon. Get a guy like that. See, that should get just about everything sorted. Okay. Got disaster response units, short radio masts. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Oh, wonderful. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Oh, perfect. Just place that guy right there. Uh, we don't know where it's going to hit. We don't have the capability to see that quite yet. We'll need a weather radar, I believe. Oh, jeez. Alright, come on. Give me your worst game. Show me your worst. What have you got? You've got nothing. Okay, maybe it's not that bad of a thunderstorm, actually. I figured it might be a little bit worse. What, what was this? I think it was like a four point something. Right? Four point something or another. I mean, it really doesn't look that bad. We are getting some lightning strikes, which is going to cause fires and whatnot out here in this forested zone. But seeing as there's a river between this forest and our city, we should be perfectly fine, I'm hoping. But I think we should be alright, guys. We should be good to go. Should be perfectly fine. Ooh. Uh, my biggest concern is that's gonna hit power lines. Which, in all honesty, everything is connected pretty much without using power lines, so... I could even go as far as to go like this. and be fine. As you can see, everything is nice and connected here. Which is cool, which is very nice to see. Very nice to see. Uh, let me check my fire here. Yeah, we're getting a few fires, nothing too major though, which is very good to see. Uh, we could use one out here. That should help things out just a bit. Just want to make sure that everyone is able to uh, withstand this thunderstorm going on. I mean... In all honesty, it's not causing that much destruction. I was expecting much worse. We really weren't prepared for a storm or anything yet, but I mean... Oh, we need to put that out very quickly. Definitely don't want that burning down. Definitely do not want that to burn down on me. No, no, you get out right now and you put that out. You put that out right this instant. Right now, little fireman. Yeah, that's right, go back to your truck. Go back to your truck, little fireman. Yeah, you can see the forest fires and stuff that this is causing out here, which is not good. As long as we keep it under control, it shouldn't be that devastating to us. These can definitely hurt you in the sh in the early game, though. That is for sure. That is for sure. You've got to be very careful with these. Make sure you have a 
ample, ample amounts of uh, fire stations scattered about your, your city here. Is it done? Yeah, we're done. We survived. Uh, yeah, so you can see the amount of fire that this can actually cause, especially out here in this heavily forested zone. I'm glad it didn't hit any trees. Never mind. It did hit trees, right? Right by this residential zone. That's wonderful. Perfectly fine. Totally not an issue at all. Of course. <sighs> That's just my luck, guys. Just my luck. So, we really need to find some better power supply here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little bit of flooding down there, maybe? That's not very good. I, I definitely don't want to see that. That's not very good. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I can do here. Maybe if I widen... Oh, God. This is always scary to do, guys. Those of you that have messed with terrain in this game before, and water specifically, know how terrifying this is. I just want to try to widen this out just a touch to try to make it so less water is being pushed up over there. Will it work, though? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, come on. Might get a little bit of flooding, but we should be okay, I think. Oh, wow, this is just... ripping pepperoni's forest. Dang, man. That's not very good. Yeah, we're getting just a touch of flooding here. I bet this land value is, like, really high, isn't it? Y you are the summit residence. Summit 1G, that you? That one, that you, Summit? But I think we should be alright. Definitely want to keep an eye on this, though. You know what I could maybe do? I don't know if it'll let me. Um, maybe place some of these flood barriers. Yeah, I didn't think so. That sucks, man. That would have been so nice to have. I mean, even doing this can kind of help. Again, this is just a deterrent. If it's gonna flood, it's gonna flood. There's not much you can do about it. But as you can see, it's kind of acting as a bit of a seawall. So I'm hoping that this will be able to kind of control the water a bit. Because that was a little bit spoopy. And I don't, I don't want spoopy. This is not a horror game. I don't like horror games. Alright, let's go like this. Let's see if we can connect this guy like so. Get this guy up here like this. Very nice, very nice. Uh, this one, I, <laughs> I don't feel like we're going to be able to make work right here. Wait, for real? That'll actually do it? Oh, that's interesting, okay. <laughs> okay, Gabe, whatever you say. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. There we go. I mean, we've got a little bit of a deterrent against flooding now, which is what I was trying to do, so, you know. <laughs> it is fine. It'll, I think it'll be alright, hopefully. Let's, let's just hope, guys. I really don't know how to use those fairies, so I'm just gonna act like I didn't see them they don't exist. No water. Oh, yeah, we could use a little bit more water, huh? Thanks, game. Thanks for the heads up. Appreciate it. Uh, sewage treatment, we could use some more of that as well. We need to run a few water lines, which isn't a big deal. Like that, like that, and like that. I'm hoping that these will connect to each other via power. No, they won't. Like this. There we go. Just a short, simple little line across should more than serve our, uh, our water needs. So that is... That should hold up for a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's about double of both of those, so... You know, we should be good. We should be alright, I think. Should be alright. We do have some serious fires going on. I'm assuming this is from the uh, thunderstorm that, that we got hit by. Oh, we're getting a bit of traffic out here, aren't we? Let's go ahead and check our traffic flow real quickly. 85%. I mean, really? It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Right here, right here though, is very interesting, to say the least. Definitely to say the least, that's quite interesting. Alright guys, well that is going to have to do it for this episode of City Skylines. Guys, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button down below so I know you guys did. And I'll be sure to get to that to you guys more frequently. First and foremost, I guess thanks so much for stopping by guys, I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new and enjoy, hit that sub button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And hit that little bell down there so you do get a notification whenever I upload. Thanks for tuning in guys, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, till next time, take care.